Hello everyone, welcome to Jennifer Domo Studios. Um, today I am going to show you how to get these adorable little spots off these quail eggs. Why do we have to take these adorable little spots off? Well, sadly, uh, this is just a mucosal layer. And so if you, what that means, mucosal layer, what that means is that if you write the wax on and then put it into dye, everything will slip right off. It's not an actual part of the shell. It's just a, 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 a very thin, slippery coating. So we have to take this off so that we can work on the actual shell surface. It's unlike, say, a, a goose egg uh, or a chicken egg that it's already there. Now, some, some eggs are, have color or have speckles, and you can work right on them. Turkey eggs, for example, have spots, and you can incorporate those spots as part of the design and have a really cool natural shell effect. Now, the way we're going to do that is not to dip. Um, quail eggs are so uh, small and you, I don't know if you can see, if you see in the, the hole, it's a, it's a thin shell because it's a small egg. And so if you dip this, by the time this comes off, it'll be so thin, it'll be too thin to work and then also be sound. So we take a Q-tip dipped in vinegar and gently rub. It'll take a little bit of effort uh, and by effort I don't mean pressure I mean just patience and attention pay more attention to the darker spots because they're thicker and you'll feel it get slippery slidey um, I do recommend wearing gloves when you do this because one, they are slippery, and you don't want the egg to go flying across the room. And um, two, the vinegar will chap your hands, and you can get uh, really uncomfortable. Sometimes I like to pat it dry with a paper towel and see if I'm getting closer. I am. Sometimes the friction of the paper towel helps. Sometimes when you do these little eggs, if you sell them, people will think, oh, it's smaller, it should be less. Oh, see how now it's starting to come up? But it's not actually true. Uh, there's more work involved because I don't have to do this for a chicken egg chicken egg a quick clean I'm ready to go with with these little eggs there's a lot more work involved that I have to do a lot of times these small eggs are more expensive than uh, the larger eggs they're harder to come by and they're more difficult to do just because they're smaller I'm going to switch to a, a clean swab. This one I could feel was full of material. And again, I do like to pat it dry sometimes because I don't want it to get over etched. Sometimes you do need to give it, I think, a rinse in water. If it's being really stubborn, I'm not at that point yet with this one. Um, see how rubbing it with the paper towel is helpful in getting those spots off. And I'm using Viva Signature Cloth. So, um, oh goodness, that's a whole nother debate. What is the best paper towel? Well, <laughs> I don't want to set off a firestorm, but... I use Viva Signature. Um, it's cloth-like. It's non-woven. And if you are frugal, you can reuse them. 
um, they're lint free pretty much. And um, even though they're more expensive than the cheaper towels, you don't have to use as many. So they end up being less expensive in the long run. Um, they don't leave marks on the eggs. Like some of the ones that are patterned when you dry your egg off will leave that print on the on the egg. <laughs> I, I don't want that. I'm not making a monoprint, so I don't really want that. So I, um, this has taken a couple minutes, I guess about four or five minutes. And I'm not done yet. Oh, I need another Q-tip. I'm not using regular vinegar here. I am using 30% vinegar. Um, if you choose to use, I'm in a very large room. I have the window cracked. Um, if you choose to use a stronger vinegar, make sure you are wearing a glove like I am. Um, make sure you're ventilated so that your lungs and your eyes are protected. Make sure you have rinse water available and a neutralizer like baking soda. Uh, so that you don't get burns. Oh, that looks really nice. Now you'll notice this has a tiny little hole up there and a hole there. So that's common with these small eggs is that they have two holes, one in the top and one in the bottom. So when you're working on these, look for that. It's not necessarily a one hole. It's a two hole system. So you have to seal that one up when you're working on it. So if you're going to, you're going to work on these small eggs, that's how you do it. Thank you for joining me here at Jennifer Domo Studios. Have a wonderful day.